welcome to our online youth service. Online youth service! My name is Taya. And I'm Abbott. We're campus missionaries of Every Nation Campus, Davao. So, nabalitaan ko noon, nag-start na yung iba sa inyo ng summer class. So, ano ba kayo? Module or online? So, ano kayo? Team module ba or team online? Comment down below. Hashtag team module or, or team, team online. online. Oh, ano ba mas gusto mo? Ako personally, mas gusto ko talaga yung modules. Kasi yung mga yung online classes ngayon, parang maraming mga palusot yung mga students ay mati mo. Ah, 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 ay, Kala mo, bagal yung internet, oh, 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 no? Tapos okay. yung pala, ayaw lang talaga mag-report o ayaw okay. lang mag-recite. At least yung sa module, kita talaga sa ano sa paper ko ano yung progress mo. Yeah. Wag lang sana ipasagot sa nanay. <laughs> so, we're excited to worship with you guys. But before we start, Um, let me just encourage you with these verses from Psalm 148. It says here, Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights. Praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His hosts. Praise Him sun and moon, praise Him all you shiny stars, praise Him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. So basically this, ver- um, this chapter, this psalm talks about praising God, worshiping Him with all of our hearts, that all creation would worship Him. And tayo kasi as human beings, we have the option of whether we worship God or not. And I hope that today, as we have our online youth service, that our hearts would be aligned, our hearts would be inclined to worship God. Our hearts would really be poured out in worshiping and praising our Lord. Okay, so let me just uh, pray before we start our worship. Lord, thank you for this time of worship that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, because we can come before you simply because of your grace and your faithfulness in our lives. Lord, be glorified and magnified during this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Stand together with one voice testify. Generations cry out, You are God, You are God. United as one body, one spirit, faith, and hope. One Lord and Father, You are God, You are God. So we Open up our eyes 
to see the kingdom of our risen Savior. Open up our eyes to hear you call. i
Lord, thank you for this time that you have given us uh, for us to gather together, to worship with one another, to, to be encouraged and encourage each other. Thank you, Lord, because it's really just by your grace that we can gather together. I pray, Lord, that um, during this time, as your word is preached, our, our, na it would give us illumination, it would give us understanding uh, about your plan, your purpose, and really um, your word the word that you have for our lives. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So again, welcome to our online youth service. I'm glad you could all join us. Um, I'm glad you could all go online. Um, may mga iba sa inyo nagpa-load pa para lang maka-join ng youth service. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for loading up and joining us today. And let's continue to pray for your our internet connections. Sana tuloy-tuloy and we won't be disconnected. Um, we're going through our series because I entitled Plugged In and it's very important that we remain connected even in times of uh, um, in times of quarantine. Because diba, social distancing does not necessarily have to be social isolation. We can remain connected. We can remain I mean, having that relationship with one another even though we are far apart. And thank you Lord for technology that, that it's made possible. Diba? So I hope that you are excited for the preaching of the word today. The one who will be preaching is a leader that I really look up to. Um, she's been leading the campus ministry for several years already. Um, campus ministry here in Davao. She's our campus director and she's our boss. Um, boss namin siya uh, as the campus director. She's she's the one overseeing every nation campus Davao and um, I've seen how this person has started off as a campus missionary and now that she's on about seven eight years as a campus missionary already um, and as a campus director I'm just amazed with how she has brought the campus ministry from what it was before to what it is now and so I would like for all of us to welcome give a round of applause to Luis Albarasin. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Lariz and I am one of your campus missionaries. So welcome to our online youth service! So ngayon, it, it's May 29 and two days na lang June 2020 na. So grabe, six months has already passed this 2020, no? Ano nang nangyari sa ating 2020 goals? Ano nang nangyari sa ating Be Good to Me 2020? And in just a few months, Jose Marichan is waving. <laughs> Pero bago yon, bago yung ating mga virtual carolings, alam ko na one of the things that you are thinking of right now or what occupies your mind right now is about the upcoming school year. Siguro you're thinking of questions such as, should I enroll? Uh, paano ba itong, uh, itong bagong setup natin? Or where do I go to school? Uh, paano yung internet? Paano yung laptop? ba? Saan ako hahanap ng posisyon na may signal? Or siguro, maybe you're thinking, paano ang load? ba? Paano yan na wala na akong baon? Paano na ako makaipon, pambili ng mga bagay na gusto ko? Or siguro, paano ba magka-crush sa online classes? 
all of these are difficult decisions to make. Except siguro doon sa last question. And know that you are not alone in that. If you are a student and you are not yet part of an online victory group, comment down below. Ano ba yung victory group? A victory group is an online gathering of students through Facebook Messenger or Zoom to talk about life, to encourage one another, and even for us to help you process kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan nyo. And know that you don't need to be alone in facing the challenges that you are facing right now. So wag na kayong mahiya. Comment down below if you are not yet part of a victory group. So, because, yun na nga eh, yung reality is, we all have battles that we are facing. Some people, they just look strong on the outside, pero even sila may pinagdadaanan din. The reality, not just that, is that even every generation has its own battles. Diba, before they experienced experience world wars, and actually even a pandemic, this is not the first time. Diba, previous generation also experienced that. And for us, COVID is one of the battles that we are facing as a generation. You know, even families have their own battle. Some families have parents who are separated. Yung iba naman, kompleto naman sila as a family, and yet, walang loving atmosphere in their homes. And let's go smaller, you know, even individually, personally, lahat tayo, we have a battle that we are facing. I believe na kahit may battle tayo, we can still live purposefully. Actually, the more that we are focused on living our life's mission, trials will surely come. And I have a few questions for us this afternoon. Is it possible to live a fulfilled life despite the trials? Possibly ba yun? Kahit na sobrang daming obstacles, is it still possible to come out victorious? Now that we are stuck at home, you know, it's so easy to let go of the things that we are passionate about. But you know what? Trials are a reality of life. What matters is, are you with God? Are you with God? Today, we will study about a man on a mission despite different oppositions. And it's my prayer that we remain on mission even in this COVID situation. Let's read from Acts 20, 17 to 24. It says here, Now from Miletus, he sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church to come to him. And when they came to him, he said to them, you yourselves know how I lived among you the whole time from the first day that I set foot in Asia, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears and with trials that happened to me through the plot of the Jews. How I did not shrink back from declaring to you anything that was profitable and teaching you in public and from house to house testifying both to Jews and to Greeks of repentance towards God and of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, behold, I am going to Jerusalem, constrained by the Spirit, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and afflictions await me. But I do not account my life of any value as precious to myself, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. So you know, this was Paul talking, and what happened here? Paul was saying his last word of encouragement to the elders in Ephesus because he was going away to Jerusalem. You know, Paul spent about two fruitful and challenging years here in Ephesus doing ministry work, teaching others about Jesus. And you know, just like what Ophel shared last week, that Paul didn't do this alone. 
He did it with other believers. You know, the beauty of being plugged in community is the joy of fulfilling God's purpose with friends, diba? with other people. The ministry was so effective that Acts 19 verse 10 says, All who dwelt, all who dwell in Asia heard the word of the Lord, both Jews and Greeks. Wow, that is a, an impressive thing. You know, as Paul was recounting to them his stay in Ephesus, he mentioned how he focused on serving the Lord. And, you know, Paul was not boasting as he was telling this to them. He was explaining to them and showing to them how it's only through humility that we can truly serve God. In verses 18 and 19, Paul said that he served the Lord with tears and with trials. Bakit with tears? You know, it's because serving the Lord entails compassion. Serving the Lord entails compassion. You know, when it comes to fulfilling God's call for our lives, it's not just about checking off at a, check, a task list. It's not a robotic obedience. Because God is a relational God, His call for us involves serving, helping, encouraging, and even adding value to the people around us. And syempre, when it comes to dealing with people, it's going to be messy. It might hurt us, it might challenge, challenge us, but it will also bring us so much joy. You know, compassion is not just na naaawa tayo. Compassion is taking action because of the pitiful, pitiful situation that we see around us. You know, one of the things that drove Paul to serve it's because he saw, he saw their emotional, their spiritual, and even their physical needs. You know, it hurt him seeing them go through the pain and hurts without Jesus in their lives. You know, just like Paul, the more we are involved, the more we move in compassion, there's that mix of tears and joy as we serve the Lord and others. Is this something that we can do in quarantine? Yes! Let's not be apathetic in this season. Instead, let's be compassionate to others' situation. Remember that our greatest need is Jesus in our lives. So, who can you serve and share Jesus to? while staying at home. Meron yan. I'm sure meron yan. Another thing that we see here is that serving the Lord does not exempt us from trials. The reality is not one of us is entitled to an easy life. Not one of us is entitled to an easy life. I like what Skip Heitzig said. Sabi niya, Paul didn't measure his life by physical comfort. He didn't measure the will of God by physical comfort. He measured it by spiritual calling. Paul reminded them that they themselves saw that he was not exempt from trials. You know, even in our homes right now naman, di ba? We are not exempted from trials. Di ba? Kung pwede lang sana may pause button. For Paul and his experience, and kahit sa atin ngayon, life lived on mission is not easy. It's never easy. But then again, Paul showed and modeled to them a life that doesn't shrink back. And this is what I want to encourage us today. Do not shrink back. Do not shrink back. Comment nyo nga dyan, do not shrink back. To shrink back means to Pull, means pulling back to retreat, to go backward, to withdraw, or to back off. You know, when the battle is the hardest, it's always tempting to shrink back. But the thing is, shrinking back doesn't mean not stopping to rest, okay? Hindi yun ibig sabihin nun, because we need to rest. God calls us to rest in Him. Paul is talking about not turning our back from our mission. He's encouraging his hearers 
not to give up completely. And two things that we can get from Paul's experience. First thing, Paul did not shrink back despite the uncertainty. Verse 22 says, And now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. You know, uncertainty did not move Paul. Even though he did not know what will happen, he would not be moved from his mission. And I am reminded of this verse from Psalm 16 verse 8. And it says here, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. You know, because of this pandemic, everything is uncertain. And actually, kahit before naman, di ba? We, we do not know the future. Right now, yung work or yung business ng parents natin, it's uncertain what will happen to that. Yung plano mo sana this school year or maybe sa career mo, it's becoming uncertain. You know, for Paul, uncertainty did not lead him to anxiety, but to trust God more fully. To trust God more. You know, Paul had a clear understanding that he was called to a mission na hindi nakalatag yung steps or yung potential na pagdadaanan niya. He was driven to pursue it no matter what. Why? Because his eyes, it was fixed on the one who gave him that mission. And you know, that is God. Hindi lang gawa-gawa ni Paul yung mission niya. And the reality is, even for us today, hindi ka papabayaan ni Lord. In the midst of uncertainty, God will always be with us. Yes, walay klaro, but we can trust na maayog yun si Lord. Maayo si Lord sa ato ah. So let us not shrink back despite the uncertainty. Second thing here is that Paul did not shrink back despite the cost. Diba? Living our lives on a mission, it's going to be costly. In verse 24, it says here, But I do not account my life of any value as precious to myself, if only I may finish the course and the ministry that I received from the Lord to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. You know, just like an accountant, hello sa mga future CPAs natin dyan, Paul weighed carefully the credits and the expenses, the trials and the impacts, the sorrows and even the joys. And in the end, ang sabi niya, he does not count his own life, his own preferences, his own comfort na mas valuable compared to obeying God's call for his life. You know, for Paul, it's not just about starting the mission, but finishing his course as well. Because of this pandemic, siguro mas naging challenging for you yung pag kay God. Uh, siguro mas naging challenging for you to, to fulfill His mission. But let's not shrink back. It may seem like it costs us more effort, it costs us more time, but understand that a life lived for the Lord will always outweigh the seemingly good things that the world has to offer. So continue lang, padayon na ta. Let us not shrink back despite the cost. You know, as Paul left and went to Jerusalem, he faced even greater challenges. Gabing di pa talaga natapos. And one of this was when he was imprisoned and sent to Rome for his trial. He was imprisoned for about two years in Rome. And guess what? Even while in prison, Paul was on mission. Yes, he was still on mission. You know, that kind of mission, of that kind of courage, uh, consistency, and even determination, it can only come from God. Kasi totoo lang, di ba, kung tayo lang, grabe, it doesn't make sense. Di ba, matulog na lang ko kesa maghago-hago pa. But we know that when we read our Bibles, and it says there that God, that we are God's masterpiece, that we are created for a purpose, that we have been set apart for a purpose, for a plan that God has prepared for us, for you and I. So again, the question is, 
Are you living your life on mission even in quarantine? Is it just a temporary personal mission or a life mission with eternal impact and value? Or siguro the question for you is, have you been giving up on your life's mission because of the trials lately? Have you been discouraged? Again, do not shrink back. Why? Because Paul says in Philippians 1 verse 6, Sabi niya, and I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Remember na hindi si God yung kalaban natin dito. God is for us and not against us. This pandemic cannot stop us from living out our God-given mission. Our search for our purpose and for our calling doesn't need to end just because we are stuck at home. I pray that God will give us the faith to move forward and not shrink back. I pray that we will desire God and His direction in this season of our lives. Let me pray for you. Lord, we thank you for this time. Thank you for reminding us that you have a calling for us. Thank you for reminding us to remain on mission, not to shrink back. And I pray that you will give each one of us the grace not to shrink back. Lord, I pray that dili mi mawala ano gana, dili mi mawala ano motivation. But Lord, every single day, every one day at a time, Lord, we will take a step of obedience towards you. I pray that our hunger for you will grow. And I thank you, God, that you will help us even as we transition to this new school year. Lord, thank you, God, na Lord, our life will not be wasted away when we are in you. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow, thank you for that amazing, powerful word uh, that you shared, Louise. And I'm just... Um, sobrang, sobrang, I hope na marami kayong natutunan. I hope na marami kayong, alam yun, nakuha talaga from the preaching of the word. And for us to better understand, for us to better process, for us to better apply even, yung mga natutunan natin. I want you to answer this discussion question. How can you better serve? Diba? What are the ways that you can serve the Lord, your family, and others even during this quarantine season? Ano ba yung mga pwede natin gawin in order for us to better serve yung mga, mga, mga tao sa paligid natin, yung mga pamilya, kapamilya natin, even si Lord, paano ba natin sila masaserve during this time na we are under quarantine? Okay, so I'll give you around a minute or two to answer that question. Yeah, so time's up. Time's up na. Um, you can continue your discussions um, in your chat group. Time's up na. You just um, comment na. Send you na yung answer niyo dun sa comment section below. Um, you can, but you can continue your discussion in your group chats, okay? Alam ko meron kayong mga group chat with your victory groups, life groups niyo. Um, if you don't have a victory group yet, you're not part of victory group, I really encourage you, get plugged in, get connected. Because it's very important during this time of community quarantine that we remain connected with one another. Um, those who would be able to um, encourage us and help us get through this quarantine season. So get connected, get plugged in. Okay? So um, if you want to join a victory group, just comment down below. Um, kung ano yung, anong school ka, taga school ka. Or you can also send us a message. 
uh, PM nyo lang kami para we can connect you with one of our leaders, student leaders in the campus that you are um, coming from, okay? So just a couple of announcements before we go. First is, of course, every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Can you say that? Wednesday, 5 p.m. We have our midweek pause. It's time for us to pause from the busy schedule that we have, from the um, the things that we are doing. Siguro you're busy with chores, you're busy with your schoolwork. Kasi meriba ano na summer class na, di ba? Um, for some, you're busy with uh, an online job, maybe that you're doing, or a craft that you're busy with. Um, midweek pause is for us to just pause for a while, stop for a while, and just know about what the Word of God says. Kasi very important, very important na hindi tayo, alam mo yun, sobrang busy, bombarded with so many things during this time. It's good for us to stop as well and hear the Word of God. Okay? So join us every Wednesday for midweek pause at 5 p.m. And every Thursday naman, it's time for us to worship and praise God together. Yun ang din, Thursdays 5 p.m. then we come together online to worship God, to praise Him, to sing songs for Him. Just because He deserves all our worship, He deserves all our praise. So join us, join us for our worship Thursdays every Thursday 5 p.m. And then of course, next week, Join pa rin kayo sa ating online news service, 5 p.m. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna talk, uh, talk about something very exciting and very relevant pa rin talaga sa, para sa ating lahat. And so join us um, next Friday for our online news service. Um, if you can join earlier at around 4.30, join us for our online game room as well. We have fun games awaiting you for that time and also um, exciting prizes. Ay, para sa mga mananalo ng games. Sino ba yung mga nanalo na ng games? Sino ba yung mga suki na nananalo sa games? Comment nyo naman sa baba kung ano na yung mga napanalo ninyo. Okay? Sige, so that's it for our youth service. But before you leave, again, don't forget, get connected, get plugged in. Together, we'll change the campus, change the world. God bless.